hello everyone and welcome to timmy codes today we are going to be talking about xano it's a no code backend development platform and we are going to be doing a little bit of a review of xano and uh, build up um, an api for using xano okay xano claims to be the fastest way to build a backend with no code it means that you can build your backend without writing a single line of code with Xano. Um, uh, we're going to deep dive into it right away. Okay. Uh, once you set up Xano, you'll be able to generate APIs using Xano. And um, you can see it comes with its own Swagger documentation for you. Now, um, I was fortunate to get a hold of an early access to Xano I was able to see all the features on Xano and let me walk you through all the features of Xano and in case you want to register on Xano request early access so I'm going to log in Xano all right so Xano comes with a free instance in case you want to play around it a free instance allows you to host your project on Xano and um, if you want to see that free instance it's like a place that you host all your projects your workspace all right um this is a free instance in case you want to upgrade to Xano and want to upgrade to a paid instance you can contact Xano using the link over here all right and let's go into the free instance i'm going to delete this free instance and start all over again so that you'll be you will be able to see exactly what you need to do using xano okay so all right so once you log in this is what you're going to see the first time and let's get started getting started you create your own workspace the workspace will be the name of the project or the app that you're building so i'm going to call mine codes what you want to do is you want to build a little api that allows you to dis um, that returns codes that returns a piece of code using the api so when you call an endpoint it will return codes of famous uh, authors for you and so let's continue it's going to ask you do you need help building uh, you can decide to have experts build it but we are going to get with the option to build it ourselves now you're going to de uh, declare some database tables these are the database tables that Xano will convert into APIs for you and Xano can decide to help you with the create read update and delete endpoints for the database so we are going to click check this little button check button to allow our script crud endpoints for the database now we have a default table here which is the user table this is where your user information goes we create another table and we call it codes and this is where all the codes go now we click on next now um xano we can help you set up authentication for your backend instead of you writing authentication code xano will set up authentication for you using jwe tokens and zero auth oauth all right um you can decide which table will contain your users where your users will be stored in my own case i'm going to use user and you can decide which services in case you want to use google OAuth or the email and i'm going to use email in case you your app doesn't require to log in you can click on the no login required and xano we ignore that and let's click on the finish button now we are on our dashboard for this instance so what I'm going to do is we are going to add content to our database 
if you click here you're able to go to your database the two tables we have created one for the user one where the codes go i'm clicking on the user you, have, you can define the users and let's add a new record here it's already given us an id we can declare a name my name is timmy and my password and my email let's say i have my email here and then we have a password so one two three four five six seven eight and then automatically match the password so you can't see user's password when they sign up on your page and you see we have created a user then it automatically saves it and you can go back let's open it again you see that user is there now let's go to the code table now code has id and created that you can add more rules add more columns to this and um, clicking on the plus will show you which type of field now for the because we are building a code app that allows you to display the code and the author the code so um let's add a field called with text and we are going to call it a code this is where the code goes then we can is it required yes in case you are saving to this database and you want to make it required so set it to yes and we are saving that we add another field this time it is text and we call it author with the author of the code and we're gonna save this yes now we can add a new record yes it's created that and let's add a little code and we can say the little dog does not lie um okay something like that and then the author is timmy codes all right now our record is complete so we have so i have a database that contains the codes an author and the user now let's go over to the api with that um database that we have created zano has created the endpoint for us and you can see that in action automatically because when you're setting up your instance you put it that zano should create crud endpoints for your backend so if you explore you can explore and you can see it's automatically created codes you see the codes you have the get you can get code by the id you can query all the codes you can post the codes you can edit a code it's like your put request where you can edit a record and everything if you want to see the documentation on swagger this is it once you click on it it's going to go over to swagger and you can test your authentication let's test our authentication and um, click on login let's try it out you can do let's put our user outlook.com that we created the other time you can do one two three four five six seven eight the password we put and let's execute that you can see we have an auth token yay we are logged in all right let's try to create a user let's sign up and let's try that out we have a name to me codes let's have um another email let's say to me codes at gmail.com that's not my um email let's have one two three four five six seven eight and let's execute that okay it's saying not found don't know why 
kind of uh, retrieve and authentication uh, let's see what's happening okay i think there's a problem with that let's sort of use this account is already being used that means we can't sign up with that same account okay okay so um we logged in the other time and it re uh, returns an auth token for us we can copy this auth token and authenticate the authenticate the swagger and once we authorize if we execute this it's going to return some details about us you see it returns my name this is on my email and the time it was created all right so let's go to the codes and point get we query all codes records and when we try it out you see it returns the codes the little dog does not lie that we created the other time and let's sort of post a new code and then we have let's have a code and says our friends are awesome and with the author the humble self my humble self then you code and then we execute that our friends are awesome it has post we have a 200 response and when you do a get to query or post and execute that we have two records all right so that is it about zano zano automatically creates this for us which is very powerful okay in case you want to go over to the library in case you want to add a function to your to you want your backend to do some certain function other than prod create read update and delete operations that you have you can write a function and um, give it a name and description and you can play around with that and then you have add-ons so let's say you want to extend the response from your APIs. You can use add-ons if you want a task and you are going to contact support for task. And that is if you want to have a background um, process that is running on the server. And then there's a marketplace. Yes, you can add Trilo, you can add same grid and um, there's going to be a lot of extensions on this marketplace all right so that is it about that with Zano. um so in case you want to do your proof of concepts to clients you want to create simple apps you want to um, you are a mobile developer and you want to have an api to play around with Zano is a good tool for that and you can use it it's very reliable i've tested it out and it's quite good all right there are other thousands of tools a lot of tools out there that you can also use zano is just one of them anyone that you use and you're comfortable with it's perfectly fine if you really enjoy this video please subscribe like and turn up the post notification so that you see my future videos thank you bye